see old guy, Kumu, God, that light never lie. Snapping to inspire. This is another set. We can go back talking about Congolese drum. <laughs> Specifically, we're focusing on Suku's Undombol style. Some of the ways you're able to fill in in that style, how you pick it up, how you understand the accents of it. So, please make sure you leave me a, a like, a follow, a comment, so I can know what to do next for you guys. <laughs> basic of a Congolese Kauka rhythm where you are able to use the basic of it, right, the 6A, uh, and then later to how I use my, my dribble center. Alright, so today we're going to add a simple fill as you are feeling the, the rhythm and how you get back into the rhythm from that feel. So, are we talking? No more feel. certain way like you see the first one the strategy are coming back on Congolese drum because when I realized other drummers were not from Congo they play well but they sound too straight too robotic when they're playing Congolese music because either they judge it as a Two, three, four, it's very staccato. Congolese read it as a four, but it's actually a six A. I keep repeating that enough so people can know. Because it's what it, what it is. Accenting, they don't. I'm not able to dance because it's more. Congolese, we don't dance from that. In the 70s, yes, because our elder had more like the James Brown funky feeling. But it's very stappy. It's not continuous. Congolese play continuous. And that's how we can tell the person is playing it either is from the place or not the place because the people from the place they're trying to always create a circle into the rhythm so that you feel Stop. 
This is a continuous form. Hopefully this information was something you guys can make very, very useful. One more time, Kumu, Kakalai, never lie.